Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in uh, this tip I'm going to show you how to put new shocks on your bug. And by the way, this is our new mascot. His name is Diesel and he comes by our shop every now and then so you might see him from time to time in our videos. He's a good boy, Diesel, yeah. He's a good boy. But uh, here's, a, uh, here's the old set of shocks we tore off this 68 bug. Um, as you can see, they look pretty crappy. And uh, here's a new set. And the new sets come with new hardware and grommets. As you can see, they're slightly different from the old set, but they will get the job done. Uh, we got these shocks actually from our local uh, AutoZone. Amazing, they still have beetle, beetle parts. Uh, here's some more of the hardware, big rubber grommets. Well, small rubber grommets actually, compared to the, the originals. Uh, and they're the stock gas-powered shock. These were like 20 bucks a piece or so. And they vary in price anywhere from 20 bucks all the way up to $100, even more maybe sometimes, depending on you know on your ride. But if you have a stock beetle, um, these, these are all right. So basically what you do is here's the front. And you're going to insert this shaft upwards. This is basically going to work for uh, 65, 66, and later bugs, the way this hooks up. Um, and you want to sandwich it up into uh, the arm there washer and grommet and then the top you put the same thing you basically want to sandwich the rubber pieces together over that arm and tighten her down the bottom uh, basically pretty self-explanatory you just want to push up on the shock here because as you can see the shock is down lower than the shaft so we just pushed up on the shock by hand and uh, insert it over that shaft and have the make sure the threads uh, peek out of course you want to put your washer and then a lock washer on top of that uh, so when you put your nut on it does not uh, back off and these are 17 millimeter nuts so you either want to get yourself a 17 millimeter wrench or a socket there you go now careful I mean you know you can tighten these down pretty good but don't muscle it so much to the point but sometimes they snap off and if that happens then then you're in big trouble but um, yeah just just tight enough you know it doesn't have to be you know Hercules so and on, on the on the top here you might have to hold the base of the shock and then tighten it up so it doesn't turn so you'll notice as you're turning from the top and tightening it the, the shock might actually start to turn and then you're not really tightening it and see on the top of the threads there you see there's a square piece you can actually put a, uh, a vice grip on there or another wrench and then tighten that nut on the bottom as you can see those rubbers sandwiched and at this point here we got a shock God forbid you have a you know point where the shaft itself from where the bull joint is is hanging lower than the shock uh, you can use a jack and jack it upwards so then it lines up with the hole on the bottom of the shock and slide it on. But here's a common problem we always have. You see this uh, bushing there on the shaft. That's the old bushing off of the old shock. Apparently it got torn right out of the shock when we were removing it, as you can see here. One has the bushing, the other one doesn't. This one on the right, of course, had the bushing taken out. So what you might want to get is like a set of uh, a vice wrench or something, and uh, or vice grips, and try to wiggle that off or try to, you know, pry it off. What my dad's doing here is he's tightening it down on the bushing and then hitting it with a hammer to take it off. Uh, it took a little bit of time. As you can see, it is starting to move off the shaft. You see that washer back there moving. So it does start to move. But for the sake of this video, we're going to just uh, shorten up the time a little bit here and uh, you know, take it off. So a little persistence and it did come off. You might want to use heat if it doesn't want to come off or a torch. Heat it up till it gets red hot and then start to hammer it off and it should come off and uh, just slide the shock over. Sometimes it's a little stubborn, it might not want to go on right away, it might not be lined up just perfectly so uh, just get yourself a hammer and just hammer it on and you should be good. Get your hardware, nuts and washers, tighten it up, 17 millimeter. And now we got our front shocks on. Super Beetles are going to be different, that's the McPherson front, uh, McPherson, uh, front end. Hey Diesel, there he is again. See he likes it and uh, they have coilover shocks in the front so they might be a little bit different um, these are basically uh, standard beetle procedures here uh, rear shocks very simple to put on for these standard bugs uh, just slip that, that big bolt in, that's the difference here and slide the shock over the bolt on the early bugs like 64 and earlier this is the same way they'll go on in the front Get your nuts and washers 
And up here, the nuts and washers are 19 and a 17 millimeter wrench. Why they do that, I don't know. But that's just what it is. And the bottom, just like the front, but you have your bolt. And slide it right on through. Just push the shock up by hand. If you're having trouble doing it by hand, you can get a, a jack and jack up the shock a little bit to compress it. But you should be okay. And there you have it. Tighten that up. And we're ready to take the car for a ride. And see how our new shocks feel. Smooth out the ride a little bit. Put your wheels on, tighten up your lug nuts, put your beauty rings on, hubcap, and you're good to go. If you got any questions, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Hey, Diesel. Thank <laughs> you.